Yesterday, everybody took L's. And tonight, you might take a big fat L too. Let me, let me kind of fill you in on what happened. Raps lost, right? I was 0 for 3 in my picks. Not a single one right. And uh, well, I decided, what can I do to make myself happy? You know, everybody has a vice. I decided I'm going to go see my barber. And I asked him, hey man, can you make me look like a million bucks? And you know, to his credit, he tried. And he's great. Um, but, you know, a dollar twenty-five is, is as good as I'll look, and uh, it's a reality I have to deal with. But at the end of the day, Raps fan through and through. Let's go Raps. Tonight they face the Bucks, and uh, boy, it's going to be tough. Raps, Pistons, honestly, what is there to say? Detroit led by as much as 21. That was their biggest lead. Raps' biggest lead was zero because they never led in this one. And ultimately, they fell 103 to 87. Now, if we take a look at the call review, I was wrong about everything. Raps didn't cover, they did not win, they also did not go over. Both teams combined for 190 points. Not enough. Not enough in this one. So, as a result, I'm now a 59 and 58. And, uh, well, we look forward to tonight's matchup. Because the Raps go from facing the second worst team in the Eastern Conference to, well, the fourth best, if you look at their record, but quite possibly the best team in the league. The Milwaukee Bucks, the reigning NBA champions, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Greek Freak. At least Drew Holiday's out, but still. Uh, if we take a look at the odds, odds makers are favoring the Bucks in this one, rightfully so, uh, at about six and a half points. And the over-under's been set at 221. I'm going to go with the Bucks on this one because they're coming off a big win over Golden State. But I'm gonna take the Raps to cover because the Bucks have only lost their two previous matchups with Toronto by six or less. And like I said, Drew Holiday's out, so when he's out, the Bucks average about 105 to 106 points. And uh, that's why I'm gonna go under 221. In terms of what the Raps can do on defense, lock down the perimeter. The Bucks are making 15 to 16 three pointers per game over their last five, and that's third in the league. It's an area that's hurt Toronto before, so it's going to be crucial for them tonight as well. Now, in terms of what the Raps can do on offense, continue the second chance dominance. They are number one in the league over their last five with about 20 to 21 second chance points per game, and it's going to be essential for them tonight too. Now, that's it for me, but make sure you check out the game day preview. It's already been posted on the website. The wrap-up will go live right after the game. The quick react will be available and nothing but positives will also be available too. And then tomorrow, the game day recap, you can get that in the morning. All that great content can be found on RaptorsRepublic.com. Now that's it for me, but make sure you subscribe to the Raptors Republic YouTube channel just down below. We have great content across the board from everybody. Now uh, I'll catch you Monday. And hopefully you know what Monday is. It's Toronto's first visit to Miami and they're gonna see number seven. The growth from North Philly to your city, Kyle Lowry. Peace.